But let me tell you something else. A lot of people have asked me, what should we do as far as gambling proceeds go? What should we do as far as the lottery goes? I'll give you a very simple statement. I believe that we need to tax gambling. We need to tax it at the national average. Let me tell you why that's important. If we don't state the rate at which we're taxing gambling, or if we hide behind some phrase like, I'm going to tax it at the rate of surrounding states, you know what the relevant gambling state taxes it at? 6% in Mississippi. I think some casinos pay as much as 9 most pay around 6 Between 6 and 10%. If you're going to tax it, let's tax it. Let's tax up the national average, which is closer to 20 to 25 percent. I'm for doing that. You ought not be able to avoid taxation simply because you start selling bingo at your store. You ought not be able to avoid taxation simply because you're in the gaming business. Gambling institutions ought to have to pay their fair share. I am for that. Here's what I'm not for, though. I am not going to be a governor who believes that this state's economic future depends on how many casinos we have. I won't presume to make that choice. I will let each community in this state make that choice. If Greene County and Macon County believe that casinos are vital for their economic necessity, and there's every evidence that they are, they have the right to have casinos there. If Jackson County and DeKalb County and Madison County and Morgan County have a different mindset, they ought to have the right to do so. And we ought to have a statewide vote on what constitutes legal gaming. We don't need raids in the middle of the night. The reason we don't need raids in the middle of the night is when you raid a casino in the middle of the night, hundreds of people wake up unemployed the next morning. That's not a good answer in this economy in Alabama. And. I think we've got to make sure that home rule is what determines these decisions. It ought not be a governor who is committed to expanding gaming. It ought not be a governor who is committed to abolishing gaming. Communities ought to get to make a choice. Lottery. If voters want to pass a lottery, the legislature wants to approve it, I will be happy to administer it. I will be happy to regulate it and make it work. You can't have every Tom, Dick, and Harry selling lottery tickets. <laughs> that camp will come the next. This is the most popular person in Jackson. Uh, yeah, actually, she is. <laughs> uh, you have to regulate it. You got to make sure every time Dick and Harry's not selling lottery tickets. But we will make about two hundred thirty million dollars a year potentially from a lottery. Trust me, I will find a good use for that two hundred thirty million dollars if we have. Uh, I'm all for that. <laughs> That's a very powerful. I mean, your, your broad question is, how do we deal with funding around education? I will candidly tell you there is no silver bullet solution. We will bring in more revenues from tax and gambling. We will bring in more revenues if we had a lottery. We would bring in more revenues if we took away some of the tax breaks out of state corporations enjoy. We can certainly streamline our budgeting by having reforms in the way we budget. But I don't want to lose this basic point, ladies and gentlemen. Whoever becomes governor of this state is going to have to make some hard and difficult choices. That's right. Now let's appreciate that. Anybody who runs for governor and tells you that there's a certain set of things we can do that spares us hard choices has not grappled with the budget and size of the state of Alabama. 